This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim. I have this clip of Dawa Man from 2018 trying to guide his young audience and protect them from the evil apostates. How does he do this? How does he keep the attacks on Islam at bay? How does he ensure that these little young minds don't leave Islam? By lying. Guess who he lied about? Me. That's right. He made several false accusations here. If you missed the drama, here it is once again rehashed on Abdullah Samir clips. Let's see what he said. And even men have left the fall of Islam because of women. Left Islam because of women. What does that even mean, bro? They suddenly stopped believing in Muhammad as a messenger and Allah as a God and the Quran as a final revelation because of a woman? Is it even possible to become a disbeliever overnight like that? Can you change your beliefs? No, not really. So did they really believe then? If they did, the best they could do is pretend not to be a believer if they really wanted external validation from a woman. But what's inside will always be there no matter what you show the world. Whatever you believe, it'll stick inside you. What you show the world is a different story altogether. You can't change what's in your heart just for someone else. You can't change belief. You can't gain or lose belief for an individual outside of you. It just doesn't happen. Whatever is true stays true despite what you tell people you really believe. There was a video of a, of a guy who used to, it went viral online. This video went viral online of a guy who used to be from some other religion, became Muslim, and uh, he's an Asian guy. He used to be Ismaili or something, which is like an extreme version of Shias. You guys have probably seen the video. He, he used to be, uh, he became Muslim, and he was involved in a da'wah, setting up all these conferences and whatnot. And now, he left Islam, he's a Christian, or no, sorry, an atheist. And I remember when this video came out, everyone was just so worried. Oh, you know, oh my God, yeah, he knew the religion, he used to give da'wah, now he became a disbeliever. Does that mean Islam's fake? Well, I just go on his Facebook, you notice he's got, he's got some atheist girlfriend. Atheist girlfriend? No. She isn't an atheist and she isn't a girlfriend. She's my wife for 16 years now. She's but as anyway, I didn't mean to look at her, but it's just that she's there on the picture. She's right there. I think it's a like, at least if you left for a chung thing, but you went for some crusty looking guy. <laughs> Dawa man said I didn't go for a chung thing, a hot girl, but went for a crusty looking gal. He laughs about this in front of the wall audience and they laugh with him. So let's count the lies so far. I left Islam for a woman. I have an atheist girlfriend and she's ugly. But in either hand, I, I, did, well, I didn't mean to look. It was, just, it, was, it was right there in my face kind of thing. He didn't mean to look? So you aren't lowering your gaze, Akhi. Stuck for the law. Please keep your eyeballs off other men's wives. Maybe your wife needs to have a look at your internet history, brother. If you aren't after hot ladies, why are you judging her on her hotness? What's it to you? Are relationships only about looks? Is this what you teach the Muslim kids will look up to you? And then to insult women like that? I was like, subhanAllah, he clearly left the religion for this girl. Clearly left the religion for this girl? Clearly. Because she's on my Facebook? If you happen to look, my profile said married. But Dawa Man's the type of guy to judge books by the covers, to assume things, to make superficial judgments based on shallow observations. No wonder he's Salafi. He doesn't have the ability to dig deeper. And then, you know, he was mentioning things about, you know, Islam doesn't let me, you know, love whoever I want to love. The real reason is it's a girl. Oh, so every single point I made in that 10-minute video on why I left Islam had nothing to do with me leaving Islam, bro? You discovered all on your own that the real reason is a girl? Let's do a thought experiment and go in his imaginary world. Let's play his game. Imagine I had an atheist girlfriend. He runs into my YouTube channel and instead of listening to the various arguments I made in my videos or on the blog, he jumps to my Facebook, sees me with an atheist girlfriend and BAM! That must be it. Sherlock Holmes Dawa Man has solved the mystery. He left Islam for her. It's so obvious. The stupidity and shallowness here is off the radar. If this is a level of intellect we're dealing with, to immediately jump to false conclusions based on 5 seconds of looking at my Facebook profile, it's not surprising that he is just a dumb, closed-minded Salafi Muslim.
If you guys don't know, this is a guy who exposed Yasser Qadi. He got a sneaky little secret note from Farid that Yasser Qadi was discussing the preservation of the Quran on a private list and Dawah man took this public and blasted him shamelessly on his YouTube channel. Even crying about the good old days when Sheikh Qadi used to bash Shias as Kafirs and consider the Holocaust to be fake. A person comes to you and accuses your mother of zina. Are you going to love this guy? Are you going to even stand next to him in prayer? If a person accuses your mother of zina, of going out and, and, and fornicating with another guy, are you going to love this guy and cooperate with him? That's the YQ he wants back. And so he broadcasted Farid's little secret to the whole world, creating the conditions that led to Yasir Qadi being repeatedly questioned about this issue, which led to the Muhammad hijab holes in the Quran narrative that has now destroyed Yasir Qadi. But back to Mr. Shallow Superficial Dawah Man here and his analysis of me. We all know Muslim men date non-Muslim women. They can even marry Christian and Jewish girls. Atheist girls can even qualify as Christian by family and upbringing. There's also fake conversions for marriage. As you can see, there's many ways for Muslims to get involved with non-Muslim women. But instead of considering the points I made, he focused on something completely irrelevant. My girlfriend. Now, there is an update to the story. He apologized for attacking my so-called atheist girlfriend, I mean my wife, calling her ugly, but no correction about my story, no admitting that he actually lied about why I left Islam. This was just one of many attacks I got. These guys aren't even done making ad hominems. They're going to continue. I also had another former friend Fayaz attack me, and then another former friend Arij, and I will be taking apart the lies too, one by one, until it becomes evident that Islam is false and that these character attacks will do nothing to stop the truth from coming out. If Islam was in power, it wouldn't just be words hurled at me. It would be spears. So they use words instead because that's all they have right now. Let them try. We will not let them get away with lies. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. Like the video, leave a comment on what you think about Dawa Man doing this shameless tactic and consider joining the team on Patreon to support me making more videos every month. This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim Abdullah Samir signing out.